So I wanted to film another video after we installed the LED lights into this Red C Mac 650 hood which used to be the T5 tubes. Um, and yeah, just talk you through what we did really. The lights took actually about 10 to 12 hours to fit and the hood we've left exactly the same, just stripped the lights out and I bought these four lights online and fitted them in, two at the front and two at the back just to avoid additional work in the middle of the hood we've actually, you see that there's a plastic sort of lid there and within there there's the moon lights and some tubes from from the hood which I just don't turn on anymore so I don't use the stuff in the middle the cabling comes through just hangs around the back I'm gonna get some, this is just some standard cable tie that I've wrapped around it to keep these three cables neat because otherwise they actually get caught in here so that keeps them neat and tidy it is black but um, I'm going to change it for some white ones soon but actually when you look at it from the front unless you're looking out for it specifically you can't really see it anyway um, and yeah I'm just really really happy thanks to my friend for helping me because without him I wouldn't have been able to do it at the back you will see the cabling as well it comes around here and I'm probably going to fix this to the tank this is the uh, the controller with the various different modes. Um, there's more than this. Uh, this is um, connected to my laptop as well through Wi-Fi. But the standard ones, four seasons, cycle, slower uh, slower climb, climatation. I struggle saying that word. Fast growth, vivid color, coral fragging, and that's it. I think I've got it on vivid color actually at the moment. Uh, there's sort of storm modes, cloud settings, stuff like that as well. So the cables come up through here, need a bit of tidying. Um, I'll show you how we fitted them. On each light, we've attached it to the hood via some threaded, let's get this focused, via some threaded um, sort of screw rod and attached a bolt to the light and a bolt to the hood. And we've done that four times per light. There we go. One there, one there, and then one there. You'd be really surprised how sturdy they actually are. They feel like they're welded in, they're rock solid. Um, in terms, yeah, we've, uh, they're connected here, taped it up to the hood so it doesn't droop when the lid's down. I'm not sure if you remember, but the, the lid automatically has got a switcher in, so normally with the old tubes in, you know, the lights would turn off when you lift the hood up. But again, that's not a problem at all uh, for me. So once it's, the lid is down, you can't really tell at all. And I actually think it looks better with these in than it did originally anyway. So it costs about £400, I'd say, to fit these lights compared to the 1300 that the Red C-Max is selling the um, new LED lid for which isn't even out yet and that's why I took the risk, bought the lights online from China, got them shipped in, they was here with a few days the next, that very next weekend me and my friend fitted them, had to go to a DIY store to get the various bolts and stuff and um, yeah that night they worked so everything in the tank is very happy at the moment. Um, previously, when we had the the actual tubes in, the, the whole room, this room that I'm standing in now, was just really, really hot. What was happening is the tubes were lighting up, sorry, heating up the water, um, and then what was happening is the chiller was kicking in and cooling the water down again, and then vicious circle, the tubes were, lighting, were heating them up again. So, a few problems there the actual heat of this room, we had to constantly open the windows just to cool it down in here, specifically in the summer it was boiling but but also the, I'd say our electricity bill is probably 40 or 50 pounds a month I think for running all of this and that's probably reduced a lot. Problems in the tank, we was getting a lot of uh, red hair algae, red uh, slime algae and that is now pretty much all gone. The fish seem a lot happier because I hadn't replaced the tubes. The tubes were due to be replaced, but they were 250 pounds, 
and I was actually waiting for the Red Sea Max hood and they kept pushing back the date, which is why I hadn't actually bought the tubes because I wanted to convert to LED. And then they kept pushing it back the date and therefore I just, that's when I bought the lights online. And uh, yeah, I didn't want to be forking out 250 pounds every six months for new tubes when uh, the LEDs are so much better, they look better. Long term you save a lot of money. So yeah, there we have it. If you've got any questions, do let me know. And when I've got more news, I'll post another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.